a certain sum of money invested at a certain rate of compound interest increases by 96% of its initial value in 2 years. If the same sum of money invested at SI at same rate of interest, then how many years would it triple itself? How many years? In how many years would it triple itself? So basically he says there is a certain sum of money which is nothing but the principal amount P invested at a certain rate of compound interest, certain rate is R let's say rate of interest increases by 96% of its value, initial value, initial value is nothing but P. Remember initial value is always the principal amount, right? So it increases by 96% of its value in two years, the time is two years. So if we try to interpret the statement, the first statement here, he says that the total amount, see this is a compound interest case, remember to compound interest case. So he says the amount in two years, amount in two years is equal to are able to follow amount in two years is equal to the initial value plus 96 percent of initial value it increases by 96 percent of its initial value so it is p the amount total amount after two years is initial value plus extra 96 percent of the initial value now p is nothing but 100 percent of p 100 percent of p plus 96 percent of p is like 196 percent of p are able to follow 196 percent of p but we know that you, you know the formula for amount how is amount calculated in case of compound interest amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of t that's it so i can say that 196 percent which is nothing but 196 by 100 p is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of t what is t here two years now p and p gets cancelled apply square root on both the sides 196 is 14 square 100 is 10 square so what do we get 1 plus r by 100 is equal to 14 by 10. You have to take square root on both the sides, right? And then if you take minus 1 on both the sides, we'll get 4 by 10. This will become 4 by 10. So r by 100 is 4 by 10. Or if you do the calculation further, you'll get r is equal to 40. So the rate of interest is 40%. Are you able to follow? I mean, quick calculations, rate of interest comes out to be 40%. Now look at the second part. If the same sum of money which means the same principal amount P is invested at the SI at the same rate of interest. Same rate of interest means what? Same R. How much is R by the way? 40 percentage. Then in how many years would it triple itself? Triple itself means what? It will become three times. In how many years? In what time? T will it triple itself. Now basically rate of interest is, say tripling means what? P should become 3P. Implies how much is the interest? Simple interest 2P. Are you able to follow? You have invested some principal amount. That principal amount should triple. It should become 3p. You know that in this 3p, 1p is the original principal. The remaining 2p is the interest. So I can say the simple interest is 2p. You know that p is always 100%. P is always 100%, right? So 2p will be equal to 200%. 2p will be equal to 200%. Now per year, you will get 40%. See, this is a simple interest case. Remember that this is a simple interest case. In case of simple interest, what happens? You know that rate is 40%. So I can say each year you get 40%. Each year, we get how much? 40%. How much is needed? 200%. Each year is nothing but one year. In one year, you get 40%. Every one year, you get 40%. So to get 200%, how many years are needed? Five years are needed. One is equal to 40%. One year is equal to 40%. How many years? Answer will be 5 years. So the simple interest would triple itself in 5 years. Simple interest would triple itself in 5 years. So option, of course, options are not there. 5, five years is the correct answer.